like Sanford's coming out in a zone. They've got a couple of guys who aren't starting the game today for disciplinary reasons. As Gabe DeVoe loads up and the Tigers knock down a three to block it and we go the other way. Coach is settling for threes early. I think Coach Brownell would rather see the Tigers attack the basket a little more against that zone. There's Coleman scored from that place on the floor moments ago. Lockett, native of Bosnia, high off the glass, can't get the lid off, and here's Coleman. And they get Clemson settling for threes, and that's one way to break a zone is to hit threes, but if you keep missing them, it's going to be a problem for the Tigers. Tween right there, might have been better to take the shot. Tigers forced to turn it over, looking to score for the first time at about five minutes on the game clock. Nice find by Sims, and Elijah Thomas, his first bucket of the game, and we traded out. Four for four in that last time out, staying in that zone. A little kick for Reed. And Marquise draining the three. Oh my gosh. So they got in 12 hours before tip off. That's when heads went on the pillow. There's Lockage with the steal. Unforced error by the Tigers. Here is Nolan. A little pull up to add that to his early three. There's a lot of benefits to being a student athlete, but sometimes the travel and, and the trials that go with that go unnoticed. By Trap feeding Thomas that little baby hook that he's. Shown to be so skilled at. I don't know. Stanford has used any man to man so far. That's how you beat a zone. And Dante Grantham with an exclamation point. The Tigers back in front by a couple. Largest. Stanford's been up by as many as four. Coleman feeding underneath Peter. Wasn't a great pass, but Alex Peters, the senior out of Mountain Brook, Alabama, makes it a one-point game. Range and stay the Tigers' way. But the last time Coleman saw the Tigers two years ago was a 51-50 Alabama win when he was with the Tide over in the well. And, and Brad Brownell had to know that an undersized team would play some zone. I don't know if he expected to see it. This much, but there's one drilled on the right wing, and A.J. Oliver. But always good to see one go down for the rookie. Six-point advantage, largest lead of the game for the Tigers. Coleman tries to answer, and he does. Boy, a rainbow shot for Justin Coleman. Lit on the basket from downtown for the Tigers. Why not, says Oliver again. Mitchell off the long rebound. A little step through, and Shelton Mitchell, a nice finish at the rack. Here's one of the seniors in the team, and Denzel Dyson pulls down the rebound. Forcing the action and Donnell from behind. Nowhere. Sanford player didn't realize he was on his back and Donnell swatted that ball into the stands. Coleman feeding Adams who throws it home. This Bulldogs team despite their 2-7 and seven start nearly won at Memphis the other night. A game that they'll tell you they should have won. They're up by four in the final 20 seconds as Shelton Mitchell drains the tray. You'll notice a lot of skip passes and uh, well, that time a bad entry pass by the Tigers against this zone. In transition, Nolan hit a three earlier. Now he's two out of two beyond the arc. ACC campaign unfolds. Those two need to be double-figure scorers. And then you take the, the three primary guards and what they can contribute. you got a balance attack and count that one for Demetrius Denzel Dyson. He'll try to make it a three-point play. And I think when you don't start, it can really kind of change how you play in terms of getting into the flow of the game. But that time, a really good attack. He gets the roll and draws the contact. A team that comes in at 71% from the foul line. So that could be a story as the game unfolds. Mitchell for Grantham and another jam. This one a little bit more gentle from when he made one from that same spot. Coleman, three points, five assists against the Tigers a couple of years ago. Sanford wanted that to be a goaltend call. Here comes Clemson looking to build on the three-point advantage. Sharky, the sophomore out of Philly. Oh, from the corner, Denzel Dyson with no guilt. Shot. You're betting that Clemson's not going to shoot the ball well. If you play the zone, that's kind of what you're, you're risking. If Clemson shoots the ball well from three, then you're kind of out of luck. But Clemson, like we said, is only four of 20. All at the top of the screen. Keep in mind, they've also played at Loyola, and you may know that the Chicago team went down to Florida and won. Ooh, nice drive by Coleman. Hanging with Clemson so far. Coleman. They kick it at Denzel Dyson. A big body defensively, but Sims can go out there and defend. Five on the shot clock. Denzel Dyson. Chambers. Christian Chambers, that's what he can do. Well, so far from today, they're six of nine. 
from beyond the arc. And that time, Sims forced into the turnover. Coleman doesn't have the numbers. Oh, look at the up, under, and then kiss off the glass. Um, the, the play before he hit Chambers, a quick 5-0 run for Sanford. Tigers trying to cut into a 12-3 Bulldogs run in this half, and that's the way you do it. You attack the basket and a chance at a three-point play. And a lid on the basket for us from three. You got to attack and find a way to score otherwise. Let's also keep in mind a team that didn't get into three in the morning. Sanford and DeVoe knocking down another tray. He started the Tigers scoring, and he puts Hudson back in front. Weariness might start setting in for that late arrival because of the issues they had in their travel from Birmingham. From way downtown, Coleman, man, it almost touches the roof. It, it looks like Coleman. when he lets it go. That's the story of this game so far. Stanford has made the most of the three. They've utilized it to their advantage. And Clemson hasn't really shot it well, but Gabe DeVoe heating up for the Tigers. Six here in the second half. And this half, Clemson's two of four from three. They've taken better threes, and now they're knocking them down. That's Denzel Dyson, Demetrius Denzel Dyson, one of the best outside shooters. And I'll raise you a three. That's what Denzel Dyson said right there. How about Shelton Mitchell from the corner? And Mitchell, he'd been seeing it rattle out, but Shelton Mitchell knocks down the tray. There's a steal by DeVoe on Sharkey, and he steps back for a three. Probably ill-advised. Look at Grantham hustling in. Dante gets it back. In this half, rather than the first. And you see each team has done some pretty good work from the field in the second half. Gabe DeVoe doing some fine work from downtown. DeVoe, yet another three, his third of the half. All the way around the world that time. Clemson. His biggest lead of the game at seven. Little scoop. Boy, he and Coleman, his teammate, have that down to a science. Not that time, but there's Adams. And another shovel. A score and a foul. As Sharky blew right by Reed. Teams have kind of cooled off from beyond the arc. So we'll see if one team can get going in these final eight minutes and kind of use that again to their advantage. Coleman that time and sends another rejection. Great job by the crowd.